Hello my shadows, today I'm going to be talking about my online school experience, why I went, how it worked with testing, graduation, what I learned from it, what I recommend it, and do I regret not going to prom and grad bash and the different things I missed out on being in online school. So if you guys want to know like different tips and advice and how to like basically deal with it, that's going to be hopefully a separate video. Basically I'm not divulging what school it is because I would have to then tell you what state I live in and I don't really like to give out that kind of information. And so for that reason, I'm, <laughs> I'm out. No, for that reason, I'm definitely going to probably keep it as general as possible for tips and advice because of the fact there's differences and similarities between your online high school. Timestamps will be right here for the different sections, which is why I did online school, how it worked, what I learned from it, what I recommend it, and do I have any regrets from choosing that to the traditional public school system. And also I should also include a bonus one is how to convince your parents to let you do it. So basically I actually was in public school from kindergarten to ninth grade. I skipped preschool and my parents don't know why. I don't know why to this day but I just didn't do preschool. So I basically was in public school most of my life and it wasn't until the end of ninth grade when I was just like and this is something I definitely have to talk about in a separate video as well because it's a very long story. But one of the main reasons was because of my mental and emotional state in ninth grade. And prior to that, that it factored in the decision of me going online. And another thing that was a consideration was because of my health. I have severe or at least at the time I had severe respiratory allergies and then I had just developed asthma I think 8th grade time frame 7th grade so the two of those combined it made for even a better decision because of the fact I would miss school because I was sick a lot of the times or I would have like you know different injuries and stuff like that so I had a hard time navigating school even in 7th grade I was diagnosed with Osgood sliders which could have been a misdiagnosis or it could have just been that I had that and then it became prepatellar femoral disorder and because of all these things, all these factors of being sick, being injured, I was absent and I was late and I had to get signed in because of the fact that I was going to appointments. I also, in ninth grade, I was skipping classes a lot because of my mental and emotional state. And as a result of all these different things, basically I was one day shy of being held back in ninth grade because there's a limit to how many days you can be absent in a school year. I was right at that limit just on the cusp of being held back. It was definitely something that helps my parents decide, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll try online school for you because of your health, because of everything else you dealt with in ninth grade, and because of the fact that it's just more convenient for like scheduling and stuff like that. Scheduling appointments, all that kind of thing. So I actually didn't have a hard time convincing them because it was basically my life convinced them. <laughs> if you have a hard time convincing your parents, you're thinking about like, asking them to do online school. I would definitely say the number one thing when you're presenting your case is to go to them respectfully, cordially, and civilly. And also make sure that you are saying, I want to basically ask you something, but I want you I want to ask you to hear me out until the very end and then to comment. So that way you can hear the full scope of what I'm trying to say and listen to how I've thought this out, how much I've researched, you know, I, I really want to do this and here's why. And then for you to comment at the end. Do so respectfully. People respond better to respect than condescension. And if you do so, it'll actually stand a better chance than, you know, coming at them with attitude like, yo, I don't want to be in online school, okay? Like, I'm sick of <laughs> these heifers out here. Like, you, it's better to just do it in a respectful manner. And now we're going to get into how online school worked for me in my online school. So even though I was in online school, I was in something called part-time. And so this is part-time schooling, which meant that I could take classes, add them, drop them any time of the year. I got to finish them any pace I wanted. I could do it all in one month or I could do it all in one year. I had, I just had to get the assignments in, like a number of assignments in by the end of the week. I actually did that for 10th grade. I think I switched to full-time in 11th and then did it in 12th. So being a part-time um, online student meant that I had to still have a designated public school and that was the school I actually attended for 9th grade. I had to go there and take tests 
as needed because of the fact that they just have you take a standardized test because you have to do it on campus for like certain exams. Even when I was in full time, they still had me going to a school to be tested on certain things because of the fact they want you to be able to have a proctor and not be able to just like and typically in online school even when with the test you can't like get out of the web page or close out of the tab or anything like that or click outside of it or they'll know and you get an automatic zero I think and there was also a time limit we had things called DBAs discussion based assessments which meant you had to complete a phone call with the teacher and they would test you on like that's was it segment they would test you on basically a module that's right so you'd have to do a DBA for each module they would test you on what you learn and then you would have to do it you could have your notes I think and you just have to answer your questions I had a real hard time with geometry the first math class I had with online school I did not know anything about geometry <laughs> historically that was the thing I scored lowest on in the math section of standardized tests was geometry so I just was like looking up things online at the same time while I was on the phone because I was like struggling so hard with that and chemistry like those were nightmares for me and you know and I also didn't handle it the best because I would stack up my DBAs all at once I would schedule them all for one day I would hold off because I was very anxious and didn't want to talk to the teachers so I put it off to the very like last second so I had DBAs for several teachers in one day I was sleep deprived doing those things and I just I didn't handle online school correctly and so that's why I'm also planning to do a tips video because I know certain things I did wrong and reasons why I did them wrong and stuff like that and I just want to advise people in the future but outside of that we had assignments we had to complete we had tests we basically we had quizzes we had exams we had to submit like projects, powerpoints, essays, depending upon what class you did. You had to do like just a gam like a whole gamut of assignments like traditional school, but you did it on your own time, on your own dime. So it was really cool to do the virtual labs. It was really cool to like be able to do your assignments any time of day you wanted and to be able to have full reign and liberation in choosing when you work, when you take a break be able to work it in advance and then take the week off if you wanted like it was just incredible but also it was very very challenging if you don't have a strong work ethic if you're not disciplined it's very difficult especially if you were not in the right frame of mind or you know your emotions were just very tumultuous very you were in turmoil it was very hard to be able to accurately you know take care of your schoolwork so the next thing I guess I'll get into is the graduation aspect which was very interesting um we actually 12th grade year there's teachers that I had met in person that I talked to on the phone I would submit assignments to them and then actually graduation rehearsal which was like was it the day before or was it days before? I think it was the day before graduation we had a rehearsal and we met like our teachers or well, some of them and we met some of the fellow students that we never meet. The weird thing about homeschooling and online schooling is that you don't meet your teachers and your like at least you don't meet other classmates in person so it's just like always kind of weird like it's like all these people all these strangers that don't really know each other unless when you worked on collaborations you struck strike up a conversation with them which is another thing I forgot collaborations but otherwise you just be sitting there and like not knowing anybody and just like hi hi and then some of my teachers actually recognized me because they heard my name like oh my gosh like and they spoke well of me which was awesome because I like you know it's kind of like a almost daunting thing when you would never met your teacher in person you're like oh do they you know what are they gonna be like but it was actually a pretty good experience and then the graduation itself was pretty awesome it was like your typical graduation I've been to three for my older siblings and then mine was just basically it was very weird I don't know first of all I was wearing wedges and I never wore those before but I was like just thinking about the whole time and other people actually in the class were like I, let's just like focus on not tripping while we're getting our diploma or whatever I just ran across the stage and I was just trying to hurry it along. I didn't actually run, but I was rushing to get through it. I just like quickly shook the hands of the superintendents and everything and I was just like, eh, give me that. And then I didn't look back. I just took off basically because I was so anxious about not tripping and about all the eyes on me and everything. I do regret not actually, because you had the option of how you're going to be announced. You could ask them to say, just your first and last or your first, middle and last. I wish I had said my middle name too because that would have been cool. I regret it. 
Also, by the way, with the graduation care package, we also got senior shirts. Graduate 2016, which was three years ago, coming up in May, which is crazy to think about, like, what? I graduated high school three years ago, okay. Other than that, we got our caps and gowns in the mail. We had to order them. I actually tried to get a class ring, but for some reason it fell through. I could still get one at some point, but it's not like a priority right now. And we don't have yearbooks for obvious reasons. For graduation, we basically just have the typical ceremony. You turn the tassel over to the, at the end. Didn't throw up the caps. That's a college thing, I think. And we couldn't decorate our caps. That's also, I think, a university thing. And I saw my mom, my grandma, my little sister, and my dad there. And then at the end of it, we all went out to meet our parents. We got taken home. And actually that day, I ordered a pizza with my graduation money. And I got super Mario Sluggers in the mail from Amazon that I ordered and stuff like that. It was just like, to me, it was a very, very chill graduation day. Like, I just graduated and then came home and played some video games and ate pizza. I forgot to talk about... As part of the online school experience, we also had to do what's called collaborations. So you had to collaborate in a group at times, so you had to collaborate in also like you could attend a collaboration, which is basically a session where a teacher would present something, we'd have to respond in the chat, we'd have to interact, it was us to get our collaboration grade and we'd have to interact with each other, with the teacher, add something to the discussion and then she would record it and we'd have, to, we'd have to submit something to show that we were there and we'd get a grade. So we'd had to do that, but we also had to sometimes work with other people, you know? And you know how some group projects can be a little difficult if people aren't responsive, and that was a struggle at times too, even online school, because people had, being in online school, you do it also because you're working a job, because you have sickness, you have surgeries, you have prior engagements that mean that you, you wanna work in online school so sometimes people wouldn't be responsive and it was very difficult when you're just trying to get things done and you have to work with them and you didn't get to pick your partner out thing so it's just like it's kind of tricky you do learn to navigate you do learn to get used to it and you just know it comes to the territory of you're in online school so you have to do what you gotta do next thing I want to get into is what I learned from online school a lot of things just from the fact that I had to manage my own time for one I learned a lot about how I do under pressure. So I actually did not know that I really had a hard time. Well, I did kind of know what is called test anxiety and stuff like that. Because I remember in ninth grade, I did the PSAT. And this is actually interesting because I did the SAT, the real SAT in seventh grade. No problem. There was a time constraint, but it was enough time. Ninth grade though, the PSAT, it went like that. Like we hardly had any time to take it. We did it in homeroom and I did not... I didn't have enough time. With time as pressure and then with that I just flubbed it and I didn't finish. So it's just like because of the time constraint I was very glad to be in online school as well. It's another reason that contributed to why I did it is because there wasn't always a time limit. There was occasionally and if I had gone to the psychologist at that time and not outside of high school for college I would have gotten tested, had accommodations and then I could have just not got a time test. But basically with online school, most of the time your tests aren't timed. There's only certain ones that you have to do within a certain amount of time because they're not proctored by a person like being in the room with you and like looking and seeing that you're not cheating. So in order to do that and honor, have an honor system of sorts, you have to have it timed, which is the way it is. Or you have to probably go to a test location where it's untimed and then do it. But I learned about managing my time. With freedom comes more responsibility, which is not the quote from Uncle Ben, but you know, with freedom, it does bring and breed responsibility because of the fact that it's like when you're an adult, you start to be able to realize, I could stay up as late as I want, but then there's the thing where you could get unhealthy with that and you could get sick because your immune system's affected and all that stuff. And that happened to me when I was in online school. I actually had just started drinking coffee when I did online school because I hadn't had it before that, and then ever since I've been on the coffee. <laughs> But when I first tried it, we only had this coffee pot that we've had since I've probably been alive. We don't have it anymore. And it was before the Keurig that we have, so I just didn't know what I was doing. It felt very complicated to me. So I tried to make my own coffee, put the filter in, you pour the coffee in, you add the water. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know how to do it. And I remember I accidentally made it too strong or something because I stayed up. My body literally, and I mean literally, because I couldn't forced my body to sleep for 48 hours because it was just so much caffeine inundation, I couldn't do it. 
I couldn't do it. So I learned that day and I was really nauseous and stuff. I remember like my brother was in the other room. I was like kneeling on the floor over the toilet just praying to God that it wouldn't like throw up or anything because that's how nauseous and sick I felt and then I still did like my DBA that day. It was just a very bad idea. I made a lot of mistakes with like sleep deprived um, nights and I actually worked on school at school at nights and stuff like that and that worked for me but at the same time if it was like staying up too late it didn't work. Actually at the time I still had to pick up my little sister and so I did that. Up at night, slept during the day, picked her up and then repeated the whole thing. So it just was me learning about managing time, how to make coffee properly, all of that. Um, the other thing I learned was probably just developing a stronger work ethic, especially 12th grade because we had gone through a loss of a family and I still worked through that. And that was the hardest thing I've actually had to do work-wise before because I, I knew I was close to graduating but at the same time I was really dealing with the grief at the same time and so I still had to work through that because I knew, I was like, okay, if I allow myself to get too deep thinking about this, maybe it wasn't healthy, I should have probably not suppressed anything, but I just was like, I, I can't think about this right now because I have to get assignments done and I, you don't really get bereavement time, I don't think, in online school, I don't know, um, but I maybe I could have asked for my teachers to do that, but I just didn't have, um, I didn't... I, I just had to get it done. I felt like I had to get all these assignments done so that like, I could have time to grieve properly because I just felt like I had to put it on hold until I was done with school. And so I, I really learned about a strong work ethic, the difference between unhealthy and healthy. I'm learning that still, but that's one of the things I also learned. It also taught me just how to be self-sufficient in, in knowing like I have to have all my assignments in order, I have to talk to the teachers, I have to learn things and ask questions which I didn't do if I don't understand something. I really have to be diligent and have some initiative and that's something it taught me. Do I regret anything? Let's see, I actually, like I said, I was in uh, public school from K through ninth grade. I actually got to experience military ball and one homecoming and I experienced school dances in middle and elementary school. But I didn't get grad bash, I didn't get prom. And that's the only two things I do genuinely regret is those two things. I knew I wouldn't go because I'm doing it online, but at the same time, I still, to this day, wish I had that experience. But at the same time, some things you just have to realize you're not going to always experience everything that everyone else does. And there's even things like that I personally choose not to do, even though I'm legally able to or whatever, like alcohol and stuff like that. And I just, you're not, you're not always going to do the same things everyone else does. And it's not a negative thing but I do I do honestly at times think oh it would be cool to, if I had you know prom pictures and had that experience and stuff like that but at the same time most <laughs> at that point both my friends were not in the, in the same school so I couldn't even go with anyone one of my friends was homeschooled at that point another friend had graduated because she's a year older than us and like I just didn't have anyone so it's just like why would I go I don't ugh, it wouldn't work Last but not least, would I recommend online school? I definitely would recommend it, but not to the faint of heart, not to anyone that's just coast by or has a tendency to feed into their feelings. Because if you do that, you will not do well. And I'm saying that like firmly, not negatively. Because if you aren't going to be willing to be held accountable for your actions and not cheat, if you're not going to be willing to work hard, and I mean hard because I did honors classes for like every core class except math and that meant a lot more work than the average work load but if you're not willing to like be responsible and manage your time and have a strong work ethic and be able to be healthy and you know also do things outside of school like you know your hobbies and your job and all kinds of stuff you do and if you have any health issues and stuff like if you're not able to do all of that I wouldn't recommend it but if you are and if you're like me and you had like a lot of sicknesses or injuries or stuff that just made it hard to go to school every single day if you dealt with depression if you dealt with anxiety you had a hard time then I would definitely recommend it because it's it's incredibly helpful I mean you have to be careful about isolation because you can get like that if you're in online school because you're isolated from other people so you don't have as much socialization which means you might not be able to hold down a conversation with people in the way that you would if you were in public school um, it definitely does help though to be able to maintain a sense of 
individuality because you're not going to be hearing all the people like bullying and just saying this is what you should be and this is what you shouldn't be. You won't have all that because you'll be at home and you'll be able to uh, learn about yourself without the feedback of other people and then having to filter through like am I what they say I am or am I what I am? You don't have to be confused about all of that. So overall I would say I recommend it to those of you that can handle it. But I wouldn't recommend it to those of you that do better in a traditional setting. Are you able to focus better if you're sitting in a brick and mortar uh, with behind a desk and under an eight hour a day class structure or A and B classes for IB or whatever? Like if you do better with a classroom structure and a teacher that's just going to be there at all times and working hands on and you know that kind of thing and you want to go to your sporting events and your pep rallies and your prom and all that stuff, then I definitely say that I would recommend not doing it. But if you're like me and you have stuff you're trying to do, you are, you're trying to do stuff. Like I was also like trying to allow more time to be able to pursue a uh, writing career too. And different things like that where I couldn't do that if I was doing the traditional schooling. And if you have jobs, hobbies, anything of the kind that I recommend doing online school. Anyway, I hope you guys, uh, gain something from this let me know if you actually have ever experienced online school if you know someone that has if you have anything to add and i'll see you all next time bye guys and smiles all around